So we just sit here? Just relax and let the magic happen. What is this? An ionic detoxifying foot bath. Oh, that explains it. Not... The foot bath kind of, uh... The bath sucks out the toxins through the bottom of your foot. Something about salt water. In like... other words, you have no idea. <laughs> There's research. Quack, quack, quackery. Don't be like that. Is my water buzzing? Uh, yeah, that's from, uh, okay, so you see that wire? That is an electrode. See, there's- As an electric? Yeah, it's super harmless, low voltage. Oh, Bree, this is weird, even by your standards. <laughs> well, it's been known to help people who have- Cancer? Go ahead, you can say it, you know? This is magical thinking. It works. Says who? There were a dozen testimonies in that holistic magazine. Mm. The same one that gave you that name of that psychic you dragged me to? She was good. She told me exactly what you wanted to hear. You practically put the words in her mouth. She knew about mom and dad. Now, how could she have known about Sweetie. Mom? You told her I was your only living family. I did? Mm hmm You know, but that was right before. My sister is sick and having a serious operation. I mean, seriously, what was she going to say? Oh, I'm sorry, but my crystal ball here says that she's not going to make it. Now, that'll be $50. And don't forget the tip jar on your way out. I gave her a $20 tip. I know. And I love you for it, but it was a scam, Brie. Well, this isn't. Look, here's the chart. Okay. So different colors mean different things. If your water turns yellow, that means it's a problem with your kidneys. Orange, your joints, brown, your liver. Let's go for brown and have another glass of champagne. <laughs> yeah, well, the basic package only comes with one glass. <sighs> cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> you shouldn't even be drinking. I'm joking. Okay, it's all great. I mean, I knew you would come up with something totally bizarre to do today. Well, will you stop making fun of me and just give it a chance? I am. Look, my feet are soaking in a cheap plastic bucket filled with salt water. I'm facing imminent electrocution here, all while drinking horrifically bad champagne. And hey, I'm having a great time. I mean, seriously. What is the stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and don't forget about your chocolate. Mm, one piece of stale Russell Stover chocolate. <laughs> they really went all out. Oh, yeah, and you get two with the deluxe package. How <laughs> much you want to bet they go to Walgreens every year and pick up a box? <laughs> right after Valentine's Day when they go on sale. <laughs> they probably get the champagne there too. <laughs> Store. <laughs> Good job not springing for the deluxe. I almost broke a tooth. <laughs> okay, seriously. So what's worst case scenario with the uh, water color chart thingy? Red brown with black flecks. That means that your whole entire system needed a good cleaning. Mm. Well, thanks to you, I am dairy free, gluten free, sugar free, alcohol free, except today. <laughs> Basically, everything that makes life worth living. They'll be able to bottle my water up and sell it. I'll be there the whole time. I won't leave for one second. Man, you may have to go to the bathroom. I'll hold it. It'll be hours. I'll meditate. You can control your bladder with meditation? I won't leave. Good. You have my proxy. Now remember, no extreme measures. God, how many times are you going to tell me that? I know, you won't need it. You need to be prepared. To bring you home in a week. Look, this detox is hocus pocus. It's not real medicine, Brie. Okay. There was a man who had cancer. 
and he spent every day watching all of those old television shows you know the comedy shows that people used to like um the three stooges the marx brothers and uh what was that one where the guy would send his wife to the moon the honeymooners ah, yes that one well he cured himself with laughter now it's a known fact you can look it up for yourself that wasn't real medicine Bree, we've tried acupressure, acupuncture, balance my energy to tuning forks, and I still... The luxury of a single negative thought. It's in that book that I gave you. Didn't you read it? I've been busy being sick. Just saying that, those words, you're attracting your sickness to you. You know that if you read the book. You have to think positive. Positive. Here's a positive thought. Me eating a huge slice of double chocolate layer cake topped with real ice cream. <laughs> and oh, topped with a red dye soap maraschino cherry for color. <laughs> Hilarious. Where's your sense of humor? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say something that was funny? Look, I know this is hard. Okay, the accident wasn't that long ago, and this thing is hitting me out of the blue. And I know it's a lot to process at your age, but Bree, I've met excellent doctors that I trust. You're giving them your power. God, it's like you've given up. <laughs> I'm not giving up, you silly goose. <laughs> I'm being more pragmatic, you know, less woo-woo. You still treat me the way you did when I was a kid. I'm some sort of weirdo. Well, you have to admit, you were a little strange. <laughs> I mean, I was listening after Big Macs and strawberry shakes and you became a vegan at nine. Okay, we've always been different. Well, that was still no reason for you to treat me the way you did. Oh God, not this again. Mom, tell this thing to leave me alone. We were eight years apart. Okay, I was making out with boys and you were playing with Barbie dolls. But Brie, I'm not that snotty 16 year old anymore. You're my BFF, Brie. And I don't know what I'd do without you. Then you know exactly how I feel. I know you're scared. Promise me you'll wear your lucky necklace tomorrow. <laughs> I have it right here. You know, I haven't taken it off since mom gave it to me. Promise me you'll finish college. Promise me you'll be at my graduation and I will. You struck a hard bargain. I'll do my best. That's not good enough. It can go either way, Bree. It will go the right way. Bree? Say it. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Say it, Mandy. Say it, please. I love you. You know that, right? Don't be like that. You're all I have. I am strong. I am invincible. I am woman. <laughs> you're the worst. And you're the best. It was from me. What was? The necklace. No way. Mm -mm. It's a jade necklace. Well, you only get one sweet 16. You know, I wanted to give you something special. So I saved up my allowance. And mom drove me to the jewelry store and helped me pick it out. God, I was so excited to give it to you. But you threw a huge snit fit when I asked to go to your party because your boyfriend of the moment was going to be there. Oh, my God. Mom sided with me and you blew a gasket. Oh, I can still hear you screaming. She'll follow me around everywhere like a sick puppy and ruin everything. You know, every single time you saw me, you gave me the stink eye. So I just ran upstairs and wasn't there when you opened up the presents. I guess mom must have handed you my present, so naturally, you just assumed. You know, she told me that you put it on right away and showed it off to everyone. 
I guess I was just so afraid that if you knew it was from me, it'd ruin it. So I didn't tell you. But I knew it would bring you luck. And I know it will bring you luck tomorrow. Oh, time's up. There's a towel on the back of your chair. Huh. Brown with lots of black specks. I'm sorry, Bree. No, no, no. That's good. That means that all of the bad stuff came out. That means it's gone. It's all gone. School. <laughs> Bree, your water? Stay here, and I'll go pay, and I'll bring our shoes. <sighs> hey, what do you say you and I go out to lunch to celebrate? Mm, I'm feeling a little tired. Detoxing will do that to you but you will feel like a million bucks tomorrow. I'm sure I will. Ready? Yeah, um, hey Bree. Don't you dare say anything negative. Come here. Look, they'll make me take this off tomorrow for the operation. So, would you keep it in safe hands for me? That way I know it's taken care of. But as soon as I wake up, I want it back. <laughs> We'll be here waiting for you. It hasn't felt you yet. And neither have you. I've lived a charmed life thanks to you. So how about we skip lunch and head over to my place with some good old medicine? You come to my place, we get in pajamas and watch old reruns of Honeymooners on YouTube all night. <laughs> we'll have a blast and laugh ourselves silly. What do you say? Really? Wow, that would be... You have to be at the hospital really early. Well, I'll have plenty of time to sleep after tomorrow. Date? Date. <laughs>